Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today we have a quick tip in Adobe After Effects and today we're going to be looking at basically rendering with a transparent background. Uh, I posted this on Twitter and quite a lot of you didn't know how to do this and wanted to know. Uh, so here is just a quick video. Obviously, uh, there's some people on Twitter, hopefully there's more of you out there who don't know this as well. Uh, but what this is actually great for is uh, just say you're taking your work to the next level, you manage to sell or you're selling your project files or something like that. Um, and you just say use a plugin, you can basically render it out with a transparent background, just say on some text or a layer or something, and then add it in. So it basically saves pre composing because if, even if you pre compose it, it's still going to have to have the project files. Uh, so it basically renders it without a, without a black background. So it'll save you going to black and screen and uh, all that messy stuff, and even that would kind of mess it up. Uh, so anyway, then we're looking at creating a transparent background. Um, I've just got the text flan here, custom animation, and this is actually it on my boogie blob that I created so it just comes in there as you can see and so I'll go ahead and make a new composition just to show you guys so a new composition standard I'm going to use 1920 does that doesn't matter for this tutorial but uh, whatever you've got going whatever you got rocking on five seconds is okay and you see here for me it comes up straight away so what did I do very simple this little box down here next to active camera uh, it's called toggle transparency grid Tick that on, tick that off. You've got a transparency grid, uh, you've got a solid background. So obviously you want to have that ticked. Uh, just say you create something like some text, just say. And I'll type in Chrome, put it in the middle-ish, and that can be it. In fact, now I'll animate it just a tad, shall we? Just, to, uh, j just so you know it's uh, actually working, because I'm going to be saving this uh, as a .mov file, not a sequence which can get messy again in project files. Uh, we're going to be sending this as move, uh, .mov, so position, put on so and so, position, keyframe, and there, we'll drag it up or something so it comes on the screen like so. Okay, so that's our animation done. All you want to do now is go to render settings and you just add it to the render queue. Delete that top one that I just made for the example. And you want to mess with these settings just a little bit. Render seconds, I keep everything the same on here. Make sure it's on best. And obviously, if you want your work you know, to be publishable, uh, output mode, lossless, you need to change this. Click on this. Obviously, my format's QuickTime, but uh, I believe this will work with uh, AVI or MOV, not MOV, uh, WMV. Uh, obviously, I haven't got a Windows computer, so my computer doesn't actually support that. So QuickTime will work. Um, and and down here, video output. You want to make sure channels is RGB plus alpha. And click OK. Obviously, you can call this what you want. On my desktop, I'm going to call it B B B B B B B B B. Just so it's at the top, because I know what you called something AAA. So <laughs> very unprofessional, but uh, hey ho. So we call it B B B. We'll go ahead and make something new and close that composition and we'll go ahead and we'll delete this oh no yeah there we are so we've just got the boogie blob and we'll delete it up here as well so you can see we just got uh, this background so if we go and import it just to check that it's worked uh, we'll just go ahead add it in and I called it BBBBB there we go it's got a black background there but never you fear my friends never you fear and drag it on and look at that there you go, you can see it comes on and it just stays there because that's the animation we had. Uh, but anyway, that is basically how to render it with a transparent background. Very quick tip, I want to get more of these tips out because I've got a few on my mind. Um, I want to do these every a few, uh, couple a week and then a big tutorial a week. Uh, I am working on getting some time. I'm actually rendering a video right now for you guys, that should be up uh, in the near future. Come Give it a few days or so. But anyway, that's all for me, guys. Keep it short as I can. I'll try not to ramble on. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching this video. I've been Connor with Chrome Designs, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.